as goes the currency, so goes the fate of the nation. Thomas Freed here today. We're uh, taking a look at one of the pages I have on the taxfreedom.com website that shows our national debt crisis. And it's really important, folks, that you all understand what's going on here. This is our national debt graph, okay? Starts over here in 1788. It ran for 200 years. In 1988, when Ronald Reagan left office, there was $3.5 trillion in debt. That was the Reagan miracle. We had $1 trillion when he came into office and $3 trillion when he left. He actually tripled the debt. He's the president that rang up the highest percentage of debt increase in history. Of course, what that wrought was the fall of the Soviet Union, because Reagan defeated them not with warfare, but with debt. And at the time, America could carry the three trillion, and the Soviet Union was gone. So it was probably the cheapest and most effective and most efficient and quickest way to get that job done. It wasn't announced that that's what they were doing, but that's what they were doing, funding a defense budget that Russia couldn't keep up with. So we had 200 years of existence, 192 years with $1 trillion in debt. In the last eight years, they had a triple debt. You had 200 years. That resulted in $3.6 trillion in debt. That puts you right here on the chart, right here. 1988, Reagan left office, it jumped from one to three. And then 200 years, 3.6 trillion. In the next 35 years, we've now tacked on another $31 trillion. Seven times as much debt in one seventh the time. That's an increase of 50 times over or 5,000%. Debt is growing 5,000% faster than it did for the first 200 years of our existence. This is unsustainable. The money is being printed into oblivion, and as goes the currency, so goes the fate of the nation. So if you don't know that this is going to negatively affect the value of your savings, your paychecks, and your currency, you're either insane or really, really stupid. This will destroy the quality of life. For America. This is Zimbabwe. This is Venezuela. As goes the currency, so goes the fate of the nation.